Hey guys, just doing a quick video on how to find the magnitude and bearing of a position vector. So if you're pretty good with trigonometry and Pythagoras, then you should find this pretty easy. So if we have a position vector defined, so let's say vector u is equal to, let's say, negative 7i minus 6j. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to draw this. So we have the x-axis and the y-axis and this vector is going left 7 units from the origin. So it's negative 7 and then uh, uh, sorry, down 6 on the y-axis. Okay, and I draw a point here and then I draw an arrow from the origin to this point okay so this is my vector u okay so vector u is this one okay now let's find the magnitude and bearing of it okay the first thing you're gonna do is form a right angle triangle from this uh, from the head of this vector to the x-axis. Now this creates a right angle triangle. So here is a right angle triangle. Sorry, I've blocked the 7 out a little bit. So this is the right angle triangle and um, and we can therefore use trigonometry and Pythagoras to find the magnitude and the bearing. So the magnitude of vector u, okay, which is in other words the distance of vector u or the length of vector u, so length of vector u, is equal to, and if you remember the Pythagoras theorem, we got a and b so we can simply go a squared plus b squared so c squared equals a squared plus b squared that was a Pythagoras theorem so we can simply go um, 7 squared plus 6 squared and then the square root of that okay so it's the answer is square root of 85 which is 9.2 rounded to 1 dp. So that's the magnitude of this vector. Now, if you want a general formula for finding the magnitude, um, generally it's, well actually it always is, the number in front of i squared plus the number of j in front of j squared and then square root. Okay, so you'll sometimes see this general formula. Okay, so the general formula is if vector u is equal to x times unit vector i plus y times unit vector j, then the magnitude of u or the length of vector u is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now this will work if you have 3D vectors as well. So for example, if u is equal to x i plus y j plus z k, then um, the distance of u or the magnitude of u will just be the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. That's a z. Or if you're American, you guys probably say z. Okay, the next thing we want to find is um, this angle here, right? Because we're looking for the direction of vector u. So let me just isolate that triangle because it's getting a bit crowded. So we have u here, we have um, right angle here, and a is equal to 7, b is equal to 6, and I want this angle. Okay, so using trigonometry, I have the opposite side, 
and we have the adjacent side so tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent which is equal to uh, 6 over 7 which is equal to um, what is that zero point eight five seven one and so on so theta is equal to inverse tan zero point eight five seven one and the answer is forty degrees forty point six degrees round it to one dp Okay, so theta is therefore equal to 40.6 degrees. Now, you would say something like vector u has a magnitude of 9.2 and a direction of 40.6 degrees south of east oh sorry south of west right so why is that because if you're standing at the origin here and you're moving in this direction we have north east south west so west is to the left but you're moving 32 degrees so 40.6 degrees south of west so this angle that the bearing is moving at is heading at is uh, 40.6 degrees south of west okay so that's how you find the bearing of a um, of a vector now if you want a general formula so if u is equal to x i plus y j okay then I would say theta which is the direction sorry the angle the vector makes with the horizontal axis now this is very important Okay, because when some people are looking for theta, sometimes, let's say for argument's sake, if we had another vector going this way. Okay, actually that's an easy one. But if we had a vector going this way, some people don't realize that this is the angle we're looking for. Okay, sometimes they think that they have found this angle, which is not what um, this formula is going to give you. This formula is going to give you the angle between the vector and the horizontal axis which is that one. Okay so you need to make sure that you realize which angle it's giving you if you follow this formula. Uh, theta is equal to um, inverse tan bracket um, the absolute value of y over the absolute value of x. Okay, so we don't want to put in negative numbers and all of that into this um, equation. So you can see here we had um, 7, negative 6 negative 7 and negative 6 but I when I put it into this tangent equation I just have positive numbers right because when I get the angle 
Um, if I put in negative 6, negative 7, uh, it'll still give me the same thing, but it's just sometimes the calculator um, doesn't know where exactly the angle is if you put in negative numbers. So I would put in positive numbers, get the angle, and then state the direction using compass bearings. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.